Being able to art direct your caustics is important when you're trying to hit a specific look in your render. In this example, I created a simple still life render. There are a few mason jars on a wood table that I want to reflect caustic rays. These caustic reflections will be created by an infinite light that's pointed through the window. I've added redshift object tags on the mason jars and turned on the cast caustic photons option in the visibility overrides. For lighting, I have two infinite lights for a warm edge effect. A link to further information about that lighting technique in the description. Both lights have the emit caustic photons option turned on and are emitting 200 million photons each. I should note that I had trouble previewing this in the render view for some reason and could only see the final results in the picture viewer. At lower numbers of photons, 10 million to 20 million for example, the render view worked fine and that should be more than acceptable for setting up your scene before the final render. I set both lights intensity multipliers to 1.25 and my caustic blur radius in the redshift render settings was set to 0.2. Additionally, I needed to adjust the settings of the glass material for both the window and jars in order to get a more accurate result. In the material settings, I've disabled the cull dim internal reflections under the optimizations tab. I set the shadow opacity to 0.2 in the advanced tab and set the refraction transmission color to around 96% so it's not completely transparent. First I'm going to render this without the window and its frame for reference. You'll see that the jars are reflecting the caustics like I wanted but now we're missing the window and its shadows in the scene. Let's add the window and its frame back into the scene. On the window geo, I've added a redshift tag and turned on the cast caustic photons visibility override under global illumination. All of a sudden our scene is very bright. Now that the window is casting caustics, it's doubling the intensity of the light that passes through the window. There's one emission of rays for the initial lighting and another for the caustics. Since there are no intricate patterns in the window's glass to refract the caustic rays, you get this overexposed look. Now let's turn off cast caustic photons and the visible to caustic photons option. What this does is tells the window geometry to not cast caustic photons and makes it invisible to the photons being emitted from our infinite light. Now the photons will pass through the window as if it didn't exist. Let's see how this looks. Finally, the caustics are reflecting off the jars properly and our window geo is in the scene to give us the look we're after. Thanks for watching this short example of Redshift Caustics in action. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button down below and subscribe for more tutorials. If you have any questions, drop them down below as well and I'll do my best to answer them. I'll see you in the next tutorial.